Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corky and this is episode 14 of Life After Lasso. We've been doing pretty well so far in season 2 with FC Richmond. We're looking to push on and try and climb up that tail a little bit. Before that, we do have a European game that we're going to play and we're going to show you the goals from the other games as well. We'll start off with the goals. Um, as you'll see here, we've played Leicester. Leicester have been promoted again this year. Um, Southampton, Leeds and Leicester, all who get relegated at the same time, have all come straight back up after one year. So we'll show you the goals here. First of all, um, as you'll see from the scoreline, we've come away with a 4-1 victory, which is very, very pleasing. We did a little bit of squad rotation as well. I see Goodman uh, was rested. Um, we're still with a little bit of an injury concern on the left wing. So when Scott's come in for his first uh maybe his first start i can't remember now um we see first goal there coburn a lovely big cross in from the right hand side jim Tart heads home uh, we see scott here on the left cuts inside on his left foot finds coburn has a shot it is saved kukoc picks up the loose ball lays it back to brandon williams who scores a fantastic goal for his first goal uh, for the club uh, really settling into his own in right back there as you see here leicester did pull the goal back in the 55th minute uh, there was a suspicion of offside, it was given, um, which is fine to see it was onside. We see here, Magdalene finds Coburn on the right hand side, Kukoc making another run forward, another goal for Kukoc, he scored 7 goals in 7 games now, and has also made 6 assists in the same time as well. And we see for the final game, Kukoc finds a, a square ball across the face of goal, and Richard Mudlar coming in at the back post to make it 4-1. We followed that up then with a Europa League tie at home to Villarreal. Um, again, as you'll see, we've scored four goals in this game. We did concede two, two goals in this game um, as well, but we've put out a, a strong team as we possibly could. Declan Coburn was injured, um, so we've put in Kyle McCracken on the left wing. A lovely corner routine here. Kubo's playing straight at Con Hughes on the edge of the area, who draws home for 1-0. Uh, half an hour into the game, and you'll see here uh, Jorgensen making a mistake trying to play out. Sam will be signing a two quick for him, steals the ball, and makes it 2 0. Uh, two minutes later, as we'll see here, um, Herard finds Jeremy Pino, cuts it back, and Pino shoots and scores to make it 3 1. Uh, still in the first half, we're in the 30th minute now, and we'll see uh, Osman Diamande rising up highest at the back post there. I uh, don't even remember what the score is now 3 1, maybe 4 1, I can't remember. <laughs> Um, and Burton Diaz scoring in the 66th minute there and that makes it 3-1 uh, at that stage I'm guessing uh, we see Coburn here breaking down the right hand side who's one on one with the goalkeeper fires on to the far post to make it 4-2 so another fantastic result absolutely delighted with that we followed that up with a little bit more rotation again we're starting to find that some of our players are needing rest getting a little bit tired so we've we've dropped um both captain and vice captain Isaac McAdoo and Sam Obasanya for this next game. Jan Mas coming in and Emma Cook coming in for his first start of the, the league campaign. Um, we see a nice ball here from Bobby Catch. Finds tight to our Shannon. Od Odys I can never pronounce his name. The keeper spills it, really should have done a lot better. Jamie Tart, fastest to react to make it 1 0. Colin, who's involved here, finds Shannon again on that right hand side. Plays a lovely three ball through to Emma Cook and he makes it 2 0 for his first goal. Of the, of the his first senior goal for the club actually uh, Morgan gives wife plays a, a free kick in towards the back post you don't really see what goes on there but we all heads home to make it 2-1 Diamande making a lovely run forward again bit of a mix up there between the defender and the goalkeeper and Emma Cook with a fantastic strike from the edge of the box at the angle um, makes it I think 3-1 Bob comes back there Emma Cook involved again uh, finds a lovely cross to the Con Hughes. The ball is about to go out of play, hits the corner flag and stays in play. Um, and you see Shannon, Taylor Shannon with a lovely ball here over to Emma Cook, who's involved again. Uh, finds Coburn unmarked in the centre of the box. So Emma Cook has scored two goals. He has also assisted two goals as well. So heavily involved in what I think may have been first, certainly the first league start. He played two league games. Um, he has he's a, a played two league starts he might have played in the, the game against Leeds here I don't think so maybe not um, we'll show you the go a very disappointing result against Leeds um, we've come away with a one all draw there we took an early lead in the first half as you'll see there through Jamie Tart with um, Brendan Aronson scoring in the 86th minute we just couldn't hold we had the lead for a long time and just couldn't hold on to it for, until the final whistle Hughes finds Coburn who plays a lovely ball forward in the Jamie Tart lovely first touch control 
and fires a pass beyond the way to make it 1 0. And then, as we mentioned, late into the second half, bit of a mix up here. We can see um, Monto wins the ball back, finds Arnison breaking forward, and he makes it 1 0. So it's been a very good month, mostly. We've won uh, three of the four games we've played so far. We have scored uh, what's that, 13, 14 goals in total so far as well. We're about to play Genk, Genk in our Europa League match. This is the first Europa League match that we've um, featured. Um, we are struggling a little bit in terms of uh, fitness and injuries. Uh, Jeff Goodman needs a rest, so we're dropping him out. McAdoo needs a rest, so we're bringing him, him out, so we've got Cessna on. Yeah, Mass coming in for a start there. Other than that, pretty much apart from um, unavailable, unregistered players, um, it, it's pretty much as you were. Sam Obusanya restored back in the starting lineup. Kelly McCracken on the left wing. Jamie Tart, of course, up front. The usual midfield three of Kukoc, uh, Colin Hughes, and Bummer Catch. Brandon Williams continues in at right back. And Diamande at centre back as well. And of course, Thierry Zorro, Van Damme playing in goal. So we in, in the subs bench, we are missing uh, one spot as well. So we, we're playing with um, 11 subs instead of 10. I don't really think it's going to make that much of a difference not having one extra player. Um, so we are at home against Genk. Um, as mentioned, this is the Europa League game. Uh, it is in that the new league phase format. Um, we see Cessnion win the ball back here. He's the Diamande. He's on a yellow card already. Back to Cessnion, who loses the ball maybe a little bit too easily there. Comes into the midfield. Uh, and that's a lovely pass forward to Pencil. Pencil. Um, and that's 1 0. And that's not good enough. Um, let me demand more. Sloppy and at left back. Um, Cessnion's got to be held accountable there. Um, his, his poor touch just gave the ball away. Takiri finds it in the Pencil. <coughs> And it's 1 0 to the visitors. We have a highlight from the kickoff directly. Brandon Williams also won a yellow card. Two, player, two players on yellow cards in the first 10 minutes. It's not an encouraging sign. Brandon Williams giving the ball away. Wins it back. Looks for Jan Mass. Looks for Cook Coach. It's a turn. Goes back to Jan Mass. Ball comes across. Finds Demand. Demandy. From a crack on the left wing, cuts inside. Diamande finds Cessnion on the finds Bumber catch, goes back to Cessnion, looks to drive forward. Can we get a cross in? Goes the byline, lovely cross in. Kukoc with an audacious header, cleared off the line. Uh, it would have been an incredible goal had it gone in because it was a, a looping header, really. It was, it was aimed over the, the, the goalkeeper, and the defender was quick enough to get back and make the clearance. Um, so our two players on bookings are also playing on a 6.6, 6.5, so they're not playing great. Um, let me encourage them a little bit. I probably shouldn't demand more all the time. I should probably be a little bit fairer. Uh, ball's cleared. Tart wins the first header. Finds Obasanya. Tries to take her on to the defender. Can't get there. Ball goes back to Hughes. Finds McCracken. He's making a break on the left-hand side. Finds the ball across the team with Tart, but it's gone over. That wall is an absolute sitter, as the commentary says. Uh, Benfica and Borussia Dortmund drawn one all there in their, some of the other fixtures. Um, Genk are playing very well here. It's a nice interception from Hughes. Him and Kukoc both kind of stall a little bit there. Finds Jamie Tardy, gives a lovely pass to McCracken, breaking down the left wing. Can I cut the ball back? It can. Can't find an attacking player. Comes to Colin Hughes, has a go from outside the box. It's gone just over the bar and wide of the post. I see Derry Silly there losing 2 1 currently to uh, Pogon, I think that is. Uh, this is not, I mean, this is not going well at all. We need to change it up to very attacking. We change the mentality to very attacking here. One more catch finds Diamande. Comes to the right to Brandon Williams. Looks for Obasanya. Cuts it back inside to Kukoc. Goes to the byline. Can't find the cross. Obasanya, oh, a nice effort, but it's saved by the keeper. So it is a corner. Hughes is struggling, 61% fitness. Kukoc with the corner, finds Jan Mas, but straight in the hands of the goalkeeper. Jimmy Tart's not playing well, struggling for fitness. Kukoc struggling for fitness as well. This has not been a good first half, lads. Um, we're favourites. Go out there and give fans a performance to cheer for. Well said, Coach Beard. 
Uh, so highlight straight from kickoff. Uh, let's see if we can apply a bit of pressure. Jimmy Tart gets on, stays the ball. What's he going to do? Cut it back to Obasanya. Looks for bumper catch. Looks from a Kraken on the left. Puts the ball back to Sam Obasanya, who drags it wide. Ugh, this is not going well at all, boys. There's an air 3 2 down now. Uh, we've got to look at these fitness levels because, I mean, those three men I spoke about earlier, two of them are also carrying on the cards, so we definitely want to change that up. If your man gets the ball, let's, let's go with the, the more attacking minded. Uh, I'll keep Bumber catching there. We'll bring Shannon in here. And Dawkins in the centre of the field. Uh, where is Jovic? In for Jim Tart, who's struggling. Still have our two defenders. Uh, Karen yellow cards. They're fine for now. Sam Vesanya is not playing great. He's not on a booking. Finds a nice ball to Jimmy Tarts. Breaks down the byline. Can get a ball back across. We can. Can't find the Kraken. But the Cessnion finds Vesanya. And the Kuku to Vesanya is offside anyway. Now the, short, the shot went straight off the defender. So it wouldn't have made a great deal of difference anyway. Uh, 53 minutes on, we need to be, um, we need, uh, time to demand some more again, I think. <coughs> Comes across to KMB and he has scored for 2-0. Oh. Uh, this is disappointing, boys. Uh, this is not what we were looking to do. Nice ball to Castro, plays a lovely cross, lovely pass across the face of goal. KMB beats Van Dam from there. Really shouldn't be beaten so from that position. Um, maybe make some changes. One lay armor. What are we like on fitness and form? Sam Obasanya is playing better. McCracken for Cooper. That's probably what I should do. If they score again, it's a good save. Good save from Zoro. Half an hour left to rescue this boys. We need to look like a Kraken. Right, you know what? Let's do this. Sam Obasanya is playing well. But let's do that. Let's move him in the right back. Let's bring Brandon Williams out. It's a penalty. Corner? Okay. Thought we were giving away a penalty there. Highlight comes to nothing. Britain. Don't like losing. Obviously, who does? Um, but the the manner in which we're playing here is just it's super. We really should be doing better. Especially we, we we've had chances. It's not to say we we haven't been in the game. We have had our chances. Sessnion, you got to block that out. Cross comes in, Castro is up, second ball, it's 3 0. Oh. 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 <sighs> Gonna be some harsh words. Also, uh, gets all the way down the line, big cross in. I think Castro wins the first header, Hainan wins the second ball, finds the carry with a nice pass. It's a nice pass. I would be delighted if I screwed that goal. And a furious for conceding it. Great. Down the brute. Um, boys, we're, we're not doing well. 3 0 down. This is the biggest defeat we've had since the literally the first game of the season. Jovic has picked up a knock now as well. Upper body injury. He'll be fine. Big cross into the back post. Can't get on the end. Coburn picks up with this ball. He's having a go. There's a consolation. Pulled back muscle. Can't take him off. Can't have anybody take him off. I'm just I'm just going to take him off. As it is. Is there? Let's see. It's a nice finish. Keeper maybe should have done better. Maybe second minute. Not really an awful lot to get excited about. Um. 
and that's it full time that is a disappointing result and a disappointing performance um disappointing we didn't win considering we were on top and had a lot of chances well that is true uh where are the stats i want to look at the stats in that game because really we had 20 shots compared to eight 2.37 xg compared to 1.33 and 51 percent position that is disappointing fitness concerns for robosanya bumper catch and diamande understandably um well that is it for this episode it hasn't ended the way we had hoped um we've, we've gone quite a number of games there one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Our seventeen game uh undefeated streak comes to an end against Gink in the Europa League. Not the the result I was hoping for, certainly not the performance. There will be a shake up uh as we move into December. There are a lot of games in December as we see here here. We have what's that nine games in total. Um so we will bring you those games in the next episode. We'll bring you the goals. And we will play the most likely the Bournemouth game. We do play Liverpool twice in a row. We've been drawn against them in the Carabao Cup quarter final. Um, so yeah, that'll be tough. Um, and we also play Chelsea and Newcastle. We play Chelsea and Newcastle, and Liverpool in the league consecutively, followed by the Derby against Crystal Palace. So a tough few games ahead, certainly. Um, in the meantime, please do like, share, subscribe, all the usual good things. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, we will be back with the goals and highlights from one of these games in December. Until then, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Uh, take care. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Please do like, share, subscribe and leave your comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback as well. You can check out one of these recommended videos. We will see you in the next one. Thank you and take care.